Hi, my name is Dennis Croxall and this is my second video reviewing the new ASI Air Plus from ZWO. In my first video um, I did a quick unboxing of, of the Plus and uh, did a basic comparison with the with the Pro uh, looking at the what's been added in the Plus um, and what features have been carried across with the plus um, I put a link up in the in this video to that first video if anyone's interested in in looking at that one as well so here you can see my existing setup uh, all connected to the to the plus I'm ready to go I have the uh, ASI 294mm Pro as my main camera um, the EFW there for the filters and around to the side there you can see the um, uh, the autofocuser all those things from CWO and uh, there's all the power cords going into the plus that's all working fine so now we just power the unit up the switch on the side here and uh, wait for the tone that says the Wi-Fi is ready and then we can select the Wi-Fi from the Plus and uh, connect to that. Uh, once we've confirmed the uh, connection to the Wi-Fi, we can go ahead and uh, select the ASI Air app and uh, the splash screen coming up and the uh, the first screen where we can look at the details there and if they're all correct we can uh, just go ahead and press enter get into the uh, the main screen of the app so the first thing i want to do is just click on the camera icon get into uh, onto that page with the details for the camera and uh, just check everything's fine there. Turn the cooling on. Uh, go down to the guide camera. Uh, check the settings there also. Uh, down to the filter wheel. Check that's all uh, hooked up OK. Uh, onto the autofocuser. Check settings. And uh, just here I have a, you can have a quick play make sure the focuser is actually doing its job and moving the, uh, the, the the focus tube in and out as you can see it's doing it there so that's all working fine now we'll just take that back to uh, the zero point can move on to the memory looking at the storage at the moment I've got it set to um, record stuff onto the card I could switch that to the internal storage now that's the new storage option available with the plus and just to uh, you can see that that's highlighted the, uh, the multimedia card as the storage medium so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take a quick uh, 10 second exposure in preview uh, we won't see anything because it's got the lens cover on but um, it will give you an idea of what uh, speeds it loads into memory so there we go uh, that was fairly quick the actual image coming up as I said nothing to see really because it's uh, got the cover on you can see that took that uh, I am running this on bin one when this is a huge file because of the size of the um, sensor um, so I'm going to change this I'm going to 
change to bin 2 which is going to bring it down to a reasonable size for the file and if you look in the bottom left hand corner you see the image size has, has been reduced drastically by going to bin 2 and um, now we're uh, using that effectively smaller sensor size the the image is being loaded on into the storage much much quicker um, on the bottom right there I just I just tested to see how quickly it uh, uh, copied across onto the iPad as well it's pretty quick so now I'm just uh, going to click back on on to the uh, storage settings and change over to the USB thumb drive and um, then go back and uh, take another another 10 second exposure in preview and see if there's any difference in in time loading that onto the thumb drive rather than the embedded card so if you see down the bottom there that was almost too quick to see uh, it's, um, it was about the same as loading it onto the embedded memory I'll switch back to now and one more one more image 10 second exposure loading and we're done so just switch back to uh, the Wi-Fi setting and it's all going on through 5g I should mention, of course, at this point, this is one of the uh, redesigned pages um, for the for the Plus, and you've got this active power management here, um, and I'll be looking at that later on in the video. So, returning back to the main screen here, I just I just wanted to show you what happens when you insert the uh, SD card into that slot there, um, which is just a simple process of pushing it in till it locks. And if you look on the main page, um, if you do that while everything's running, it will actually tell you there's a new card discovered and it appears there up with the other storage media. So now we're going to switch over to that. I just want to do another uh, 10 second exposure and obviously it will save onto that card. You can see at the top there that the, that the card is, uh, is selected. And as you can see at the bottom there, I think the, uh, the load time to this to the card is comparable to other storage media available to the plus so now I just click back on the uh, Wi-Fi icon that takes me to the uh, power monitoring page which if you compare to my external power monitoring it agrees nicely um, that's a nice feature new feature of the plus there now you will see this page on the uh, on on the older pro um, but uh, the actual live power monitoring is, is not available um, on the Pro. So there we have it, the new ASI Air Plus. As far as I can see, the main updated features are um, the external antenna, of course, the onboard operating system and image storage, complements of the new embedded multimedia card, and thirdly, uh, the live power monitoring page. Other than that, I think all other features are common to both the Plus and the Pro. So, the big question, is it worth the upgrade from the uh, Pro to the Plus at this point in time? That's actually not a straightforward question. If you've recently bought the Pro, then I would have to say, stick with it, at least for the next six months or so, with the caveat that you will have to put up with that lousy Wi-Fi range, unless of course you want to spring for an external Wi-Fi extender, or you get the Pro modded with an external antenna. This service is offered by a couple of reliable companies on the internet, but bear in mind both options will set you back around 30 to $50, and of course any of those mods will void the warranty for you. 
I think if you have the original ASI Air or you are just getting into this hobby then it's a no-brainer I would get this unit uh, in a heartbeat uh, the pro has proven that uh, this little box of tricks from ZWO has made the days of using laptop and attendant massive cables probably a thing of the past for most of us and uh, the new ASI Air Plus has taken that to the next level and it's going to be exciting to see what new software features will be coming up for the Plus in what I think will be a very short period of time. So that about wraps it up for this video. Um, I will try and make a third video. Um, I'll be taking the unit out and uh, setting up in the field and hopefully um, getting some imaging done. Weather dependent, of course, I think we're in for a few clear nights uh, uh, in the near future. Um, as I say, I'll be putting it through its paces. I'll be doing the normal setting up, polar alignment, uh, focusing, guiding, all that good stuff. Um, but that will be in the next video. So that's it for this one, and um, thanks for watching.